Hey everyone, how's it going? How are you? It's Mike Wave Sam. In this video, I'll show you how to set up the PS2 emulator with mouse support. Of course, some games you need the mouse. PS2 games like first person shooters, how can you play the game with just your keyboard? You definitely need the mouse. So this tutorial is specifically about how to get mouse support on the PS2 emulator. Now, I had an original video where I did initial setup. I didn't go too much detail about how to configure Windows settings, uh, the video, audio, or uh, key binding settings. So we're going to focus on key binding and mouse support in this video. So without further ado, first thing is to get the PS2 emulator called PCSX2. And the current version I have is 1.2.1. But you'll get that in the description because I have a video of it already set up. You can go to that video and watch it and get PCSX2 set up. Now once you get that set up, you can double click on the emulator and it opens up the log and the PSCX2 emulator. Now first thing you want to do is I always like to do configurations on the plugins. So underneath configurations, you want to click and select plugin slash bio selector. And then it opens up like this. Now, for me, I get a little error over here, but this error is negligible. It doesn't affect the actual emulation of the game. So you can ignore this um, error if you get the GSDX32 setting. That is um, basically the initialization failed. But for these plugins, you want to select, by default, I have these plugins selected. Now, you might have your own configurations for this, but definitely, what I like to do is I like to configure the GS settings. And I like to use my Intel HD Graphics 3000. Intel HD Graphics is an integrated graphics card. It's a typical generic graphics card that comes with a lot of computers and laptops, but this graphics card is enough to handle the graphics for the PS2, so if you have that selected, it's fine. But you might also have a more powerful graphics card. Uh, and that could be NVIDIA AMD. And you can select that as well. But I like to leave it Intel HD graphics because I don't need that excess power from my NVIDIA graphics card. So I leave Intel HD graphics. Now as for the renderer, I like to uh, select the latest Direct3D version that I have with hardware in the parentheses. And so I select Direct3D 10 hardware. Make sure you press OK. Now as for the pad, this is the most important part. You want to make sure that you have LilyPad as one of your plugins. Now there are many different versions of LilyPad. By default, if you follow the tutorial that I created, it comes with three different pad plugins. Now you select LilyPad and you should be fine over there because LilyPad is the one with mouse support. It's the most commonly used one for mouse support so we're gonna apply and hit OK now after that's done we want to get this lily file on the internet here's a media fire download and you're gonna open your web browser and I, I'll leave this link in the description lilypad 3 game edition now I'm gonna refresh the page and then download this file I've downloaded it already and after the file name, you want to type dot .lily. Dot .lily is just an extension uh, of the file. And basically, this file, what it's going to do is it's going to have a pre-configured key bindings for the mouse and on the keyboard. So you just save this. And you hit yes, replace, if you've already downloaded such a file. But once that's done, you want to go back to your PS2 emulator. You want to go underneath configuration and go to controllers, then plugin settings. So, like so, underneath config, controllers, plugin settings. And you just click on that, it pops up the plugin settings. Now, first thing you want to do is make sure you check the mouse API. Look at the mouse API and make sure that Windows messaging is selected. You also want to make sure that this is unselected to start without mouse focus. Now after that's done, you want to go to device diagnostics. Go to WM mouse, test device, and make sure that when you move your mouse, the X axis and Y axis is changing underneath these WM mouse uh, stats. 
and once you leave it stationary, the mouse that is, everything stays still. So if that works, then you can Alt F4 to close that window. Now lastly, you want to load bindings. That Lily file is just a list of pre-configured bindings, and you just select that Lily file, which should be, originally, I should have explained this to you, I saved my Lily file in PCSX2 folder, which was in my documents folder, and then I saved it inside the INIS folder inside PCSX2. And that's because I just like to keep all my configurations in that INIS folder. So just find wherever you save the .lily. The direct place that you save the file isn't very important, but I like to save it in the INIS folder. So then hit open. And then you can apply. And basically what that just did was it set all those pre-configured configurations into pad one. Now most important step is to make sure that it saved those configurations correctly. Make sure when you see WM mouse that you see the all six of these configurations. Actually, there are seven of them. So these seven configurations are important to see. So you can see that the left mouse click button is circle, right mouse click button is square, and it also changed your keyboard bindings. Now you'll have to customize this to how it suits you depending on the game. I'm gonna customize this a little bit Whenever you want to customize a pre-configured button, basically you go on this right side. And for example, if I want to configure, let's see, let's configure the X button, right? So the X button, I will want it to be on my left mouse click button. So how you do this is first you click on cross, which is the X button. Then you click out, uh, click on the button that you want cross to be. So in this case, I want that to be on my left mouse click. So I'm going to hit left mouse click. And as you can see over here, it binded my left button on my mouse to cross. Now you can hit apply OK after configuring all these settings. You go to system. And then you boot CD DVD fast. Um, so I already had a ISO with a game that I already configured. Now, let me just show you how to actually load a game specifically. So if you do CD, DVD, ISO selector, if this is your first time using the PS2 emulator, you hit browse and then you find the ISO file. These ISO files are disk images of the PS2 game. So in this case, I'm playing Persona 4. Just click on it, open, system, reboot, or load, and then it boots up the game. Now we're going to just try to get into the game really quickly so that I show you that mouse configuration works as you'll see. So give me a second going left and right. And as you can see, I can move left and right. The camera works like as if the mouse was the right analog stick. So that's it for the tutorial. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you get the mouse configuration working correctly. And if it doesn't work, leave your comment down there. Thanks for watching. See you guys later.